May the grace and love of God be with us today and always. Welcome to Faith Journey. As we gather here tonight, I invite all of you to settle in, open your hearts, and prepare to receive the message that God has for us. I'm here too, praying and reflecting with you. Tonight's reflection is specially directed at those struggling with insomnia. Let us pray powerfully that you may find peace and comfort during the night, enabling not only a restful sleep, but also ensuring that you are rejuvenated and efficient for tomorrow's challenges. As we journey through life, we face countless battles, both visible and invisible. And amidst these fights, we need a protection that goes beyond the tangible. Psalm 91 offers us exactly that. Just like a warrior shields himself on the battlefronts, this verse serves as a spiritual shield for those who place their trust and faith in God. In it, we find not just protection, but also fortitude. We are reminded that even in the face of the greatest adversities, there is a higher power sustaining us and a greater purpose being drawn. And more than just protection, Psalm 91 reaffirms us in the glorious divine promise of salvation, assuring us that in the end, victory is already ours. Amen. Psalm 91 will protect and comfort our hearts. Let's pray together. My dear listeners, if you're carrying burdens or have loved ones who need divine intervention, I invite you to leave their names in the comments. Together we will pray and present them all to God. And if this content touches your heart, please leave your like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We are growing as a big prayer family here on Faith Journey. God bless you abundantly. Elias, could you please grace us with the reading of Psalm 91? This is a passage that offers profound assurance and protection for all who turn to it. Certainly, Lucas. And to all who are listening, I would like you to pray along with me, either repeating the words out loud or in your mind, so that you can claim all the promises contained in Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Wow, how comforting it is to hear this prayer, how it touches our hearts. I always get emotional and very happy when I read this prayer. It is a power that emanates from God and strengthens us and gives us hope in this early morning. My friends, I urge you to share this powerful message with your family and friends. Think about how many right now are in need of the blessings contained in Psalm 91. For every 10 people you share with, you can be certain that at least one will be touched and will turn to the Word of God, while others will have blessings poured out and their lives transformed. And I challenge you, my beloved listeners, if you listen to this prayer from Psalm 91 for seven days, it will be magnificent. Remember, seven is God's number, the number of perfection. 
I have a direction for you. Listen to this prayer from Psalm 91 every day before you go to bed throughout the week. It will be a blessing in your life. All the blessings contained in Psalm 91 are now upon you, your house, and your family. God bless you abundantly. May all those who are suffering from insomnia or have to work or study through this night find comfort and peace. May you have a good night's sleep and may God bless you abundantly. Remember those who are keeping a prayer vigil, your dedication will be rewarded one day. Thank you for joining us here on Faith Journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any prayers. God bless you abundantly and until the next prayer.